Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? This Advent season, we are preparing for the celebration of the first Advent, or the coming of Jesus Christ. It is appropriate that we enter this celebration to help others see the light of Jesus Christ. To share what we know to be true and hoped for, we need to understand that Paul has something for us to look at in Romans chapter 13, verses 11 through 14. We get our three theological affirmations for this week from this passage, and we will be looking at other verses and passages this week. So I hope you grabbed your pen and paper. Here are our three theological affirmations for this week. The way of Jesus is to wake up. The way of Jesus is the new dawn. And the way of Jesus is light. I hope you've grabbed your Bible and you're prepared to read with me from Romans chapter 13, beginning in verse 11. And do this. Understand the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber. Because our salvation is nearer now than it was when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say thanks be unto God? I have four questions I want to share with you today. As we go through this week, I pray and hope that you will look back at these as I do often. Have we been lulled to sleep by the rhythms of this world? Are we ready for Christ's second advent? It's coming again. Have we shared our hope of salvation with others that is found in Jesus Christ? Are we walking in the light of Christ so others may see his light? The way of Jesus calls us now and is coming. Which way are we choosing? Are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? I'm praying for you as I hope you're praying for me as we dig into this passage this week that we will invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that we will have receptive hearts and minds to receive his truths, and then that we will take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit is calling us to do right now. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.